Welcome back to the channel, Den members. My name is Aaron. I've been on this channel several times before. It's gonna be a little bit of an interesting video, kind of along the lines of our Trash or Bargain series, but we're also seeing if it's a possible safety concern. This is a level three plate from Timu. Costs about $33. We're gonna test it out today. Steve is gonna be my helper today, and um, we're gonna test it out, and I think we're just gonna hop right into it. So, uh, Steve, just come, come take your best shot. Please stand by. Okay, Aaron is backwards a little safer behind the camera. Thanks. We we had to explain how we were actually doing this. One point of clarification, it is not actually level three, it's 3A, so it really should only hold up against pistol calibers. Timu actually says that it can hold up against shotgun shells, so I don't know if I buy that. You know, we don't have a lot of different calibers. All we're gonna be able to do is shoot 22 long rifle. We're gonna shoot it from my Ruger Mark IV. We're gonna shoot it out of my Marlin, so we have a little more of barrel length, so higher velocity there. We're gonna be shooting nine millimeter, both full metal jacket and hollow point. So this is, as Aaron said, going to be a hybrid between a trasher bargain, a safety video, and a science video. Science? We're never gonna stop doing that. All right, first up is 40 grain 22 long rifle out of my Ruger Mark IV standard. Impact dead center. Right there. Ooh, it's we, not we, gonna take nine mil. We have a bulge. Yeah. What? It's not gonna take nine mil. <laughs> no Where way. I have a feeling the Marlin's gonna do a little more damage. It it has to, right? I think it's gonna fail now. Okay. Let's let's take a look at that. Okay, Aaron. Let's see if this breaks it. Twenty-two long rifle out of a Marlin twenty-five N. Oof. It's it's right there. Still just bulging. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. All right, next up is 9 millimeter 115 grain full metal jacket out of my Shadow Systems DR920 Elite. I think that stopped it. You think it did? It's not in the gel. Oh my gosh. It broke, oh. It, oh my gosh, oh. it held. That's. Yeah, but your ribs hurt. I was like, there's some lot. broken uh, ribs. Your that, ribs hurt that, 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 that's some broken ribs, even with a trauma pad. Um. Wow, I'm, I'm still impressed. I honestly wasn't expecting this to, I, now I wish I had other pistol calibers, cause yeah. I, look at that deformation. Yeah. Before we continue any more of this video, I'm gonna put a link down in the description where you can buy this. I am not recommending this. I, I'm not gonna ever recommend any body armor, probably. T take what you see here with a grain of salt. I will not be held responsible for any lives. I am not recommending ever buying this, but I am really fascinated. So this is actually Steve's hollow point. It's, I think it's actually 124 grain. So it's a higher grain. And when we did the hollow point comparison, this thing almost went through 16 inches of ballistics gel. It almost penetrated the entire block. So. Whew. My predictions are rapidly changing. All right, hollow point. Let's, let's get a failure here. Come on, I want to see a failure. That was a result. Ha! Huh. So is, is that the reaction that you get after The integrity is completely compromised, but it's still, still didn't go through. it's still holding. They're having a bad day though. Yeah. Oh, this, this guy is totally in the hospital. Probably a fair amount of internal bleeding. I mean, that, that's on your lower ribs right there. Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. I got the little, that uncomfortable tingle. I will be right back. I have to go get my shotgun. All right, Aaron's gonna actually take the shot, but 
I want to shoot my Benelli real quick. So let's see if I can hit at, what is this? Uh, 70, 80 yards. I'm going to call it 80. Dinger. This is done. Yeah. Fire when ready. The water flew all the way back. <laughs> oh no! Look at the hole. It, that was a. <laughs> it, it stopped it. You could it fit, stopped you could it. Fit a softball in that. Is it in there? This Timu bought 3A body armor. Just stopped a one ounce slug at seven to 10 yards. Well, Stop, yes. You're, you're, you are, your sternum's gone. Yeah. But it stopped it. All right, I was wrong. Rifle, we're bringing out literally the big gun. 30-06, underloaded for an M1. It done. Here's your, there's some of it in there. All the way through. All right. So it won't stop a rifle round, at least a 30 out six. Um, actually, before I forget, did you really think I was gonna shoot the M1 and not give you a ping? Oof. Yep. There, oh, shit. Oh. Bonus ping. Oh, it broke. Wasn't me this time. <laughs> How does the As you guys see, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Um conclusions. Uh ow. Inconclusive. One, we don't have, like I said, we don't have all the pistol calibers that a 3A plate is supposed to stop. However, with the simple fact that it technically stopped a slug, this may actually be legitimately 3A armor. When you get 3A armor or any rated body armor, it usually has a label on the back saying yeah. it's been certified. Yeah. This didn't. If you're gonna use this, I would not recommend using it to defend your life or save your vital organs. But I still have to say I'm kind of impressed. Uh, we're gonna order a few more of these, I think, and they're gonna come back to the channel and we're gonna do a more thorough testing of this, I think. Um, I think better than nothing is our rating for this. Better than nothing. So trash or bargain? Guys, man behind the camera, Steve. Call it a bargain. Bargain. Call it a bargain. Bargain. 30, 30, $33 for something that actually will stop nine millimeter. For the purposes of liability, we do not recommend. We do not think that you should go buy this for the uses of self-defense. It is, for me, it's an interesting experiment. That's that's how I would categorize this. And, and nothing more, but I am thoroughly impressed. I have to order a bunch more of these before this video goes live. So no one buys it out before I get more. <laughs> Who wants it? It's going on my door. Just so we're clear. You didn't do this. He's the one who put it up. <laughs> the, wash, the washer and the nut are gone. It's not broken. Per se. It simply needs to have a replacement part. It's not working, but it's not broken. I mean, oh, it, it works. It still works. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's going to do it for this video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Phantom Llamas Den. Comment in the comment section if, what you think of this. As always, don't take life too seriously. And make it a great day. Thanks, guys.